Hi guys, fourth video on the new features of Grand Designer 1.2. This part is about the square texture rendering and the export. What is the square texture rendering? So, so far, uh, till version 1.1, you can only generate rectangular texture, long longitude, latitude uh, texture with a ratio of 2 by 1. But um, it's quite uh, expensive and uh, you often see only one side of your planet at a time, so not always useful. So uh, that's why I come with that uh, texture, uh, that square texture rendering, which is basically mirroring your planet and having the, the two sides of the planet being the same. So uh, it's interesting because it generates faster the, the planet it's, uh, and it generates half the resolution for the texture. So it's uh, smaller, you have the same quality, everything, but it's just uh, mirrored uh, as you see only one side of the planet at a time. So if you want to move around quickly around your planet, then probably it's better to stay rectangular. If you are only seeing one side of the planet and it's moving very, very slowly, just uh, use that. It will save, save you half the size uh, of the texture. So uh, how to activate that? So by default, it's off. You just have to go to edit options, go to the output uh, tab and check the use square format. So when you, once you've done that, your texture will be mirrored. So if I activate that over here and go to the rotation, you see you have some uh, weird stuff going on. It's just because it's uh, mirrored. If I just uh, display, let's say, the albedo, it's more obvious. You see the, the mirroring over here, like with the, the 8 or the, the AO, you will see that. Also on the other side here, that part is mirrored into that part. So it's barely visible uh, when you have something that noisy. But of course, when you have more uh, visible landmarks, then it, you will see clearly that it's mirrored. But uh, as you mainly see your planet sideways, then it's OK. You, you won't uh, notice that very easily. So everything is faster. It uh, uses half the GPU uh, size for generation. So for instance, if I generate here in higher resolution, then it's very quick and uh, you have pretty nice uh, result. So if I check one of the sample, like um, the ice planet, for instance, and when you are looking at the pole, of course, you see that uh, it's, it's mirrored. You have details that are mirrored. But when you are looking sideways, you can't tell. So working pretty well, generating faster. And um, so it's really a big advantage. Uh, and also when you are generating a partial planet, you will have better result. Uh, let's say I will take that uh, gray moon over here and uh, take only portion of it. Now you have a square uh, a square texture instead of rectangular one. Okay, like this. So if you want just to export the terrain, it's more convenient to have a square one than always a rectangular one. So what else do we have uh, in the export? You, we have lots of new options. So I will generate higher resolution here. And in the export, you see you have no uh, export Magica voxel. So it's uh, quite experimental, but it's working pretty well. So I will just uh, avoid exporting the texture 
just export Magicka voxel. So uh, you have to define the the height of your terrain depending on the relief you want to have in your terrain. So I probably will reduce that to 1.25 and the voxel area. So in uh, Magicka voxel you have uh, cubes that are 126 by 126 by 126. It's the the largest uh, part that you can edit, but you can combine uh, several of them. So basically you are saying here, I want to have one cube, I want to have two by two or three by three or four by four, etc. It's the above a certain level. Uh, I've seen that Magic Avoxel has some problems rendering it, but uh, it's okay to edit but it's not okay to render. So, uh, well, you've been warned. 4x4 four four is working pretty well. So I will export with uh, 1.25. Uh, use this ring is basically, uh, you have to use a palette for the color of the voxels. So either you are just choosing the closest color or you are doing some uh, dithering. You can also export the clouds that will be above the ground and you can choose the eight uh, they will have over here. Okay, so no clouds, no, no clouds here, no this ring, just uh, the eight, the area, and uh, the file name over here. Okay, so it has exported uh, the models because it, it was uh, checked and the new Greymon Magica voxel over here. So if I load uh, Magicka Voxel like this, you can now open the project like this, open, and I just see what I have exported. And it's better in uh, render mode like this. And you see you have a default uh, palette over here with the terrain, the, um, the water color, uh, then you have the sediment uh, over here and the vegetation and the desert and the ice and the clouds. So you can of course uh, modify the color in, uh, in Magic Avoxel directly. And for the render, uh, you can do whatever you want. It's looking also pretty nice when you are exporting um, features in your object, in your uh, in your scene. Sorry. So it's uh, still experimental, but it's working pretty well. So don't hesitate to give some feedback uh, about some um, improvement you can think of. Okay, so beside that, in the export, uh, the the decimation uh, algorithm has been uh, completely uh, rewritten, and so it's it's much faster. No, it's uh, and it's better for the the, the results. So you have cleaner meshes. Okay, I think uh, that's it for the square texture and the export. Um, I hope that you will enjoy all these new features and uh, have fun with Run Designer. Cheers.